Hey, how you doing today? My name is Dan Norkin. I'm one of the co-founders here at Envision Blockchain. And today we're going to go through the Hedera token service. They have a really neat demo that I think is a great way that we can begin to showcase how you can look at tokens and how you can take some of these backend services like the HTS and put that into your own application. So to get you started, Hedera has this really neat demo that I am sharing right here on the screen. I'll put a link to the repo in the comment section below. So again, just to get started here, so you know, just taking a look at what the readme says, that this demo is a user interface. It's written in JavaScript and it's used to illustrate the use of the Hedera token service. When first launched, the demo will create three accounts. So there's going to be an account for the owner and the admin of the new tokens. There's two accounts representing the users or wallet holders. Uh, of course, that there's Alice and Bob. And there's another account representing a marketplace for the purpose of holding tokens that have been offered for sale. And you can think of this marketplace like an exchange. You can think of the marketplace like an NFT marketplace. Kind of let your imagination go wild with this. And what's interesting is that each account then is credited with some HBAR, of course, this is on testnet, to fund their activity on Hedera. The demo, it allows you to create tokens, to mint and burn tokens, to associate and disassociate tokens to and from accounts, to manage KYC and freeze for token account relationships, transfer from treasury owners to users, transfer between users, atomically transfer up to two tokens between users with an optional HBAR payment as one of the atomic transactions, and transfer tokens to a marketplace escrow account along with an offer price in HBAR. I think that's really interesting. One thing that I do want to note, and I'm going to flip over here so that we can go ahead and fire this up and actually talk about what we see. You know, if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see some of these instructions. So essentially is that when I'm going to load this up, we're going to take a look at it, is that there is an admin page which allows you to manage the tokens, provides accounts for users. There's going to be a plus button for us to add a token. There's going to be a button to show the list of transactions that were executed while running the demo. And then, of course, there's a button which is pretty neat. It's the nuke button. It's a cool little image. I'll show you. And this will remove all traces of tokens and accounts in your browser and recreate a clean demo environment. We're going to do that because obviously I was playing around with it before recording this demo. Once a token is created, we're going to be able to show accounts associated with the token. We're going to be able to mint it. We're going to be able to burn it. We're going to be able to transfer from treasury to users, you know, and and so on and so forth. But what I think is really interesting is this concept of this NFT marketplace. So support for creating NFTs is demonstrated in the composer whereby a set of templates deriving from this directory public slash token template dot json are available within the ui when creating an nft so there's considerations for storage there's considerations for networks there's current you know all sorts of considerations so quickly looking into that here's here's that uh, file that was mentioned in in the readme so scrolling down a little bit further, see here's the considerations for storage. Of course, there's Hedera storage. IPFS is also one. There's some other considerations out there with Filecoin, for example. So those are just some of the storages. And if you go down, right, you can look into the, the different types of NFT properties like rarity, type, etc. Right. So these are things to kind of consider while you're looking at this demo. I'm not going to go too deep. But, you know, something something to put out there, right? There's the frog, there's the cat for all for all the different, uh, you know, NFT different types of characters that you can go ahead and create. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and fire up this demo. So firing it up is uh, not difficult at all. I ran this at the start. I'm not going to have to do that. Basically, what I had to do was create uh, a .env with some of the parameters. Not going to do that because then if I if I click on that, you're going to see my private key. You don't want to share your private keys with anyone, even though this is a test account. I don't want you stealing my test H bar. You know what I mean? Anyway, so let's go ahead. I'll copy and paste the Docker Compose up. This is the key to get it started. So here we go. Here is the UI that comes with this demo. 
you know, here's here's the Hedera token service demo. Here's the accounts that we were just talking about. The issuer. There's Alice. There's Bob. I'll show you the marketplace in a second. Here's two different test tokens that um, I created before creating this demo. So you know, there's the plus button that we can add new tokens. Just doing a little browse through this UI. Here's another way that you can create different types of tokens. Here's the transaction list. And then here's the nuke button. We're going to go ahead and click the nuke button so we can clear everything and get started for this demo. OK. So again, to get started, very simply, just hit the plus button. We can go ahead, enter the name for the token. We'll call it test token one. We'll give it a symbol called TT1. Decimal places, I don't know. Let's have whole tokens. Initial supply, put a couple zeros in there. And then here's, you know, different parameters that you can establish. Again, this is on the UI. Just remember when you're adopting this into your application, you're going to be able to select anything that matches your business case. Whatever. For this purposes, let's go ahead and create this as it is on, on the default. So there we go. Now that it's created, you see, so again, just clicking in the different accounts, we have Alice. We have Bob, but we still have to associate that token. So we can go to Alice, we can click the link button. That'll associate the token. Now we can start doing things with that. Let's go to Bob. We can click the link button, associate it. And mind you, these accounts are live. So we can click on the account. See, you can see that there's things happening with these accounts. Same thing with Alice. This is a live account. You can go to Dragon Glass. Here we go. Okay, so we'll go back to issuer and let's click on this little people icon. Take a look at your users. So Alice, of course, we can go ahead and grant KYC to Alice. We can grant KYC to Bob. That's it. So for example, if the use case requires KYC or freezing, these are the different things that could be done. Uh, again, don't focus too hard on the UI, but the UI gives you a way to start to imagine things that you could do with your own different types of use cases. So again, let's go ahead and return to tokens. And, uh, you know, let's go transfer some tokens out there. So we can transfer some tokens over to Alice. So for example, token quantity, let's go send Alice 100 tokens. We can go hit the transfer button. And there you go. So now Alice has a token balance of 100. Obviously, the next thing is to transfer some tokens from Alice to Bob. So we can select uh, Bob from the dropdown. We'll select test token 1 from the dropdown. We'll say that we want to transfer Bob all 100 of these tokens. We'll go hit the transfer button. And you can see off the bat that the balance went down in Alice. And in Bob's account, it went to 100. And of course, we can go ahead and take a look at the transactions. And here's all the transactions that we've uh, done so far in this demo. You know, we can go ahead and take a look at this test account also, right? Here's, here's all the things that we've done. Create token from the beginning, transfer associate account, grant KYC, you know, so on, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and create an NFT. Let's call it a non-fungible token. So we'll go ahead, I don't know, let's call this uh, frog. Frog token. So we can choose our template that we were showing you before. We'll hit frog. We'll hit continue. You know, you can put in the pictures that you want. You have your choice of the metadata storage choose IPFS but again it's just not configured over here so we'll do the Hedera one skin color let's do a green frog let's do a large adult size and you know what let's do lethal this frog is lethal let continue 
KYC. Nah, there's no KYC for this one. This is not freezable. Let's go ahead and create this. And there you go. Here's your non fungible token. Right? We have one supply over here. So let's transfer this non fungible token maybe to the marketplace. And let's put this up for, I don't know, let's say uh, 20 H bars. We can transfer that. We can go to Alice. Let's associate Alice to the frog token. Let's associate Bob to the frog token. And now Alice can go to the marketplace. Alice can buy the frog token. That's it. So you see that the that the H bar balance it went down and the frog token balance went up. This is a really quick demo kind of showcasing fungible tokens, non-fungible tokens, all done through this Hedera token service demo. You know, we think that this is a really great user interface demo to really showcase what can be done. And of course, take this and put this into your own different types of use cases. We're really excited to show you the things that we're working on. Stay tuned.